In this video, I want to discuss the sieve of Eratosthenes and how to use it to determine prime numbers. For this method, we're going to start with a grid that goes up as high as we need it to. In this case, we're going to look at all the prime numbers that are less than or equal to 100. We start by either circling or shading the number 2. After that, we cross off every other number. So we don't cross off 3, but we do 4. Not 5, but we cross off 6. Don't cross off 7, cross off 8, etc. We then highlight the next number that has not already been crossed off, which would be 3. And this time we cross every third number that has not already been crossed. So we want to cross numbers like 6, 9, 12, 15, etc. But not if they've already been crossed off. We then repeat this process. We will shade the next number that has not already been crossed off, which is five, and then we cross off every fifth number that has not already been crossed off. We shade the next number that's not crossed off, which is seven, and cross off every seventh number that we have not already crossed off. The next number we haven't crossed off is 11, and then we cross off every 11th number. We then move on to 13 and cross off every 13th number. The next number we haven't crossed off is 17, and then we cross off every 17th number. And we continue this process. When we're done, we have shaded all of the numbers that are prime that are less than or equal to 100. And there are 25 numbers that are less than or equal to 100 that are prime. 